हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सक्सेस एजुकेशन टुडे विल बी डूइंग द गाला मॉडल क्वेश्चन पेपर ऑफ इंग्लिश पेपर नंबर फोर सेक्शन ई फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन इज रिपोर्ट राइटिंग एंड द टॉपिक इज सेल्फी मेनिया ऑफ यंगस्टर्स सेल्फी इज द लेटेस्ट फैशन अमंग पीपल स्पेशली द यंगर जनरेशन whether you are at the railway station restaurant or in the park or any other scenic or not so scenic place you would come across youngsters clicking pictures of themselves which are commonly known as selfies though these selfies are good for a person's facebook post but there have been several instances where selfie obsessed youngsters have severely injured themselves or even met their death while trying to take a selfie unfamiliar of the surroundings people have fallen to their death or have been run over by vehicles while in the process of taking a selfie some individuals have even gone a step ahead and attempted to take a selfie at dangerous places or in difficult positions thereby meeting a fierce end many incidents have taken place in which precious lives have been lost in fact it is young men who are more prone to undertake dangerous selfie a large number of selfies posted on twitter and come to the conclusion that seven uh, sorry 13% of these were taken in dangerous situations alarmingly a majority of these were young people falling under the age of 24 while in the world most people have died by falling off high buildings and mountain cliffs in india most deaths have been water related or near railway track in the world of virtual reality human bonds are weakening and the generation is becoming more prone to selfies now 56th one is letter writing so we need to write the address on the left hand side and we'll write the letter as dear preeti hello how are you i was happy to hear from you that this time you have invited your cousins to celebrate diwali at your place it would be a very nice time together i wish you a very happy diwali but i would also like to draw your attention to a very serious matter generally most of the firecrackers available in the market are chinese they are substandard as far as the quality is concerned they may burst or fire any time anywhere beyond your expectation and can cause a great harm so avoid buying them however cheap are available in the market otherwise also you know it very well that how harmful it is to burn firecrackers they cause a great deal of air and sound pollution the sulfur bursting in air is poisonous we breathe in this air and our lungs get damaged the terrible sound with more than 100 decibels can sometimes cause permanent deafness if a person does not become deaf the high pitched sounds can get on person's nerves with this perspective on my mind I would strongly appeal to you not to burst firecrackers this Diwali. There are many other ways of celebration. I hope you will get my point and have a safe and pleasant Diwali. Give my regards to uncle and aunt. Your lovingly, Namrata. Now the or fifty sixth question is email writing. So you can see the format means you need to write to and from the email ID for that. CC and BCC are optional. If you wish, you can write. now the subject is our plan for saving water and we'll write the email as dear abc hey we have been learning a lot about saving water we know very well how important it is to save water there are several ways to save water but unfortunately even if people know these different uh, different ways they are never so desperate in implementing or executing them but i am happy to let you know that in our society a water percolation system has been fitted recently with the cooperation of society members you will have a pleasant surprise to know that the move was initiated by us the teenagers of our society we made a group of 12 boys and girls and went from house to house explaining them the importance of saving water they agreed willingly to do something in this regard and we proposed to make a percolation well in one idol corner of our society we also gave them statistics what amount of water we could save by putting up this project two to three wise men picked up the project and raised necessary fund from society members and finally our idea got materialized all rain water is uh, drained into this well and it has solved the wider problem of water logging in our society how happy we all are to get it done Society members arranged a special dinner to celebrate this project. 
they congratulated our teenager team for initiating it write to me if you have any other fantastic plan of water saving on your mind see you soon your friend xyz now 57th one is essay writing for that first topic is keeping a healthy le- lifestyle so we will write the essay as a healthy lifestyle involves a lot of things under it including a nutritional diet daily exercise adequate sleep being happy and thinking positively when we do all the necessary elements to have a healthy lifestyle our lives are going on the right path living a healthy lifestyle is healthy life is vital for you to be happy and feel good in our in your present life and for the future Having a healthy lifestyle is all about choosing to live your life in the most healthy way possible. There are a few things you have to do to start living your life in this way that is the healthy way. This means doing some amount of exercise daily such as jogging, yoga, playing sports etc. Adding to this, you must also have a balanced and nutritional diet with all the food groups, but in today's fast moving world where everyone is interested in junk food it is not possible to keep a healthy lifestyle balanced and nutritional diet is followed by none feeling happy is also a big part of a healthy lifestyle to enable happiness thinking positively is a must there are several things that one must avoid in order to live a healthy lifestyle these include the kind of practices and habits include gambling smoking drinking etc that are harmful to us and also people around us other unhealthy practices include skipping meals and eating junk food the benefits of a healthy lifestyle are manifold living a healthy lifestyle allows you to live longer which means that you get to spend more time with your family overall living your life in a healthy way only has benefits and that's why it is recommended that you do everything you can to have a healthy lifestyle so eat three nutritional meals a day avoid unhealthy junk food go for a run or jog in the morning get your full 8 hours of sleep and avoid bad habits that can harm your body now second topic is online shopping versus offline shopping so we'll write the essay as Thinking of shopping you might come up with a sentence like when comparing online shopping with traditional shopping I found that online shopping seems to provide extra convenience while the traditional shopping provides a greater comfort factor Traditional shopping can be very time consuming if you haven't made the decision of what to buy By contrast online shopping allows people to shop anytime anywhere and of course with no boundaries between countries in fact these two ways of shopping share the same purpose which is buying things yet there are some differences between them the first difference between online shopping and traditional shopping is authenticity to make an appealing advertisement of products some online shopping stores tend to exaggerate the facts of the products by contrast most traditional stores have no guts to do so it is because real stores must display the products in front of customers in order to let them touch and feel the products the advantage of buying things in the real stores is the products speak for themselves and the disadvantage of buying things online is the products may or may not be authentic the second difference between online shopping and traditional shopping is convenience shopping online reduces limitations It is so convenient that you can shop anytime and anywhere. For example, you can easily visit the website, find the product you want to buy and wait for the product being delivered to you. If you need time to reconsider about the products, all you have to do is put the product in the virtual shopping bag or on the virtual wish list. Usually you have to pay additional shipping costs while shopping online. By contrast real store shopping is not convenient for the people who live far away from stores. Real store shopping is too time consuming for customers to drive to the stores. In other words, shopping online is more convenient than shopping in traditional stores. The last difference between online shopping and traditional shopping is the safety issue. Online shopping is not always safe. To make an order online you have to expose personal data and credit card information. 
Some bad people can access personal information easily through online transaction and steal it for unauthorized deals. That is to say, it is quite hard for consumers that buy stuff online to avoid exposing personal data. However, people don't have to worry about things like that while shopping on the street. But people who shop in the traditional store have to worry whether the sellers give them counterfeit as change. In fact, it is a small safety issue that can be avoided by being careful while making transactions in traditional stores. In conclusion, both kinds of shopping have merits and shortages. The benefits of both shopping online and shopping in real stores are countless. However, it is true that sometimes merits could become shortages and vice versa depending on the different perspectives that people hold. Now the or 57th question is the story writing and the topic of this story is Cobbler the Real Boss. And we'll write this story as Aniket had cleared his engineering with distinction. His classmates teased him calling bookworm. Aniket never paid serious attention to their comments and kept on working to achieve his goal. He belonged to a lower middle class family and was badly in need of a job. After applying to many MNCs, one day he got an interview letter. He was greatly excited and started daydreaming a bright, prospective future. But on the other hand, he was greatly nervous as he feared that since he had no knowledge of practical world, he would never succeed at the interview. He gathered courage, dressed himself well and set out to the to face the interview. He hurried to the interview place and reached the place one hour before. He did not want to get late at any cost. Still the office was not open. Somehow he unpolished shoes caught his his unpolished shoes caught his sight. Nearby he saw a cobbler and went to him to get them polished. While the cobbler was polishing his shoes, he started talking with him casually. Once upon a time, the cobbler was a manager in a reputed company, but his destiny had brought him down to a to be a cobbler. Being asked by the cobbler, he told that he was there for interview and waiting for the office to open. Finding Aniket greatly nervous, the kind cobbler started sharing some of his practical experiences with him just to relieve Aniket of his tension. Each of each of his experiences had some tip for Aniket in disguise. The cobbler also talked about man's priorities and responsibilities for the work he is supposed to do. To Aniket, the cobbler seemed to be a contented man as he was enjoying his low job without any regrets. He thanked the cobbler, asked for his blessings and went for the interview. Now Aniket's nervousness had drained out and with a rejuvenated spirit, he faced the interview and got selected for the job. For a fraction of time, a thought struck his mind, whom to give credit for his selection, to that employer who gave him a job or to that kind cobbler who inculcated confidence in him and enabled him get through the interview successfully. He was just awestruck. He concluded undoubtedly that no other but the cobbler was the real boss. And here we come to the end of section E. I hope you have understood the complete section. If you have any doubts, you can write in the comment section. I will surely try to answer all the questions. Thank you for watching my video and do subscribe my channel for more updates. Thank you.